we're going to replace the skier to shock cord. So the first thing that we'll want to do is make sure the spool is uh, spooled up all the way. Uh, the white cord wants to be wrapped all the way so it's tight on the spool. And then we take the replacement bungee cord. We send one end up through one of the two holes in the top cap here. Send it up through the top and then down the other hole. Then you pull the slack out and tie a single overhand knot and just pull that tight with keeping as little tail as possible. And you pull that tight against the frame. Now we can start routing the bungee cord over the pulleys. So we'll send it down behind the spool and down on the left side of the left hand pulley and then up the right side of the left hand pulley. Let me bring it all the way up and we go up on the left hand side of the left hand pulley and down the right hand side of the left hand pulley. Then we bring the cord back down behind the spool and we'll pull it all the way through. Now we go down on the left hand side of the right hand pulley and up on the right hand side of the right hand pulley. And pull that all the way through. And at the top, we'll go up the left hand side of the right hand pulley and down the right hand side of the right hand pulley. Once you have the bungee routed over all of the pulleys, we'll wrap it on the spool. So we'll send the green bungee behind the spool first. And we want to get two wraps of the bungee. So we send it around the spool once. And then a second time. And once it's around the spool twice, we'll tie the knot in the end. And to do that, it's just a double overhand knot. So you tie one overhand knot, and then you send the tail around one more time, and then tighten that down. So it's a big knot at the end of the shock cord. We want to make sure that's tight, and that this tail is as short as possible. And once we have the knot, we can slip it into the slot in the end of the spool and tuck the knot underneath and then let go and you should be all set.